example of the heat balance equation from module 1, section 4.3. And the question says, if we have a coil with air flowing across the coil at 1200 CFM, entering at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, leaving at 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and we have water flowing through the coil, entering at 160 degrees, 1.2 gallons, what's the temperature of the water coming out? Well, we have two equations that we use. One equation is the BTUs per hour gained by the air is equal to 1.085 times the CFM times the difference in temperature of the air. And we have another one that relates to the, the amount of energy given up by the water to the air. And that's equal to 500 times GPM times the delta the delta T of the water. Some people use 1.08, some people use 1.085. 1.08 is typically for very dry air. 1.085 is for air with a bit of moisture in it. So the amount of heat that's absorbed by the air is equal to the amount of heat, in theory, given off by the water. So these two will be the same. So we'll have 1.085 times the CFM, which is 1200, times the delta T of the air, and that'll be 95 to 70, 95 degrees Fahrenheit minus 70 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 500 times the GPM, which is 1.2, times the, the delta, which is 160 degrees Fahrenheit minus, we don't know, degrees Fahrenheit. So we can simplify this a bit. This is 1.085 times 1200 times 25 Fahrenheit degrees. You see the difference here? 95 degrees Fahrenheit minus 70 degrees Fahrenheit is 25 Fahrenheit degrees. If we look at a thermometer, 95 degrees Fahrenheit is there, 70 degrees Fahrenheit is here, 25 degrees Fahrenheit is here, but this is 25 Fahrenheit degrees difference. If it's a difference in temperature, you put the little zero after the Fahrenheit. If it's a temperature you've measured, you put it before. Just a little thing. Okay, and that's equal to 500 times 1.2 times 60 minus whatever. So that can come over here, 500 times well, 500 times 1.2 is what, 600? Across that, it better be 2. So 1.085 times 2 times 25, 50 times 1.85 is 54.25 is equal to 60 minus x. 160, this is 160, minus x, so 1, 
six zero minus fifty. I don't think this is going to work. Fifty four point two five equals one o five point seven five degrees Fahrenheit leaving water temperature.